Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be going over USAMU 2000 problem number two. Here's a view of this problem. Uh, we are given that the set S consists of triangles ABC for which the following equality holds, where R is the in radius, P, Q, and R are the points of tangency of the in circle with sides AB, BC, and CA respectively. We would like to prove that all triangles in this set are isosceles and similar to one another. Okay, first let's draw a picture here. So we have our triangle ABC here. This is X, X, Y, Y, Z, Z. The touch points are given to be here. First of all, let's establish that the semi-parameter is X plus Y plus Z. This implies, um, well, that x, which is simply ap, is equal to s minus a. In a similar way, y, which is equal to bq, is equal to s minus b. And z, which is equal to c, r, is equal to s minus c. So, without loss of generality, we can assume that x is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to z. So I might need it over here, obviously. And finally, um, um, well, we I, what I will do is I will write the area of this triangle ABC in two different ways so that I can find an expression for R in terms of x, y, and z. So recall that the area of triangle ABC can be written as R times S, where S is simply X plus Y plus Z, obviously. Alternatively, the area of our triangle can be found using the Heron formula, and in that case, it would be simply equal to the semi-perimeter times S minus A, which is simply X times Y times Z here all in square roots so what I will do is I will set these two equal to each other and therefore that should imply that R itself comes out as the square root of X Y Z all divided by X plus Y plus Z in the next step I will just substitute this expression into this here equation here so we have 5 times 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z here minus 3 over the minimum of these uh, given the um, assumption that we had would be just x here so 3 over x um, and that's equal to 6 over well uh, we will replace the r with what we found on the previous page, the square root of x, y, z, all divided by x plus y plus z. So therefore, this can equivalently be written as 5 over x minus 3 over x is 2 over x plus 5 over y plus 5 over z, which is equal to 6 times um, the square root of x plus y plus z, all divided by x, y, z. So finally, I will go ahead and do the cross product so that I can rewrite this expression in the following long form. Now, at this point, I would like to make uh, two observations. The first observation is that this is an expression, or you can say a function, uh, in terms of x, y, and z. But more than that, that expression, or this function, is homogeneous in in the sense that if I replace X Y Z with T X T Y T Z uh, and just factor out the T's from this expression I will go back to the X Y Z expression here so that was my first observation the second observation is that I will actually implement a trick here so my trick is rather than seeing this as an equation I will convert it to an inequality and look for the equality condition here. So therefore, this equal sign, I will change it with less than or equal to here. 
and I would be particularly interested in the equality condition and I claim that the equality condition holds um, if and only if a 4x is actually equal to y which is oops which is equal to z here now um, in order to simplify things let, let's go back to the homogeneity property so obviously homogeneous with this observation I can go ahead and set x at a convenient uh, value of equal to 1 so that will be that will significantly reduce this inequality so that would imply actually uh, that the inequality will be reduced to the following form so it will be of this form here now observe that this is a quadratic in y squared and moreover the coefficient of y squared here turns out to be equal to 4 times um, z minus 2 squared plus um, I believe 9 and that thing is greater than or equal to 0 here because we have a perfect square plus a positive integer that's definitely greater than or equal to 0 but then that would be the equation of a parabola and for that parabola to be greater than or equal to 0 what we have to do is um, is to set the discriminant less than or equal to 0 so that would be the only condition for which we will ensure that this uh, quadratic form will always be greater than or equal to 0 so in fact what I have in mind is I need to have the equality condition here so therefore um, we would be more interested in the case where this whole thing is equal to zero where we have at least one root so let's go ahead in in the next slide write down that discriminant set it less than or equal to zero and then find the value for z so the discriminant here that would be simply equal to well z squared uh, 14 minus 16 z um, squared minus 4 times 4z squared uh, minus 16z plus 25 uh, times 25z squared and luckily this can be written as minus 144z squared uh, times z minus 4 squared and we would like to set this less than or equal to zero but particularly we are interested in the case where this will be equal to zero so in that case the equality imply that so this implies that z is equal to four in the case where z is equal to zero we get a degenerate uh, triangle which we don't want obviously and because of symmetry of y and z in the very first equation that should also be equal to y as well so therefore we have found the, the values for x y and z therefore they are uh, in the following uh, ratio of 1 4 4 now that we know the values of x y and z it's very easy to figure out the values for a b and c as well recall that s is equal to x plus y plus z and therefore um, that whole thing would be simply equal to 9x here or simply 9 if you will and then finally um a would be equal to s minus x so therefore that would be simply 8x and b would be s minus y and that would be simply 9x minus 4x which is 5x and luckily c would be the same value uh, of s minus z here which is equal to 5x as well so therefore the side lengths of our triangle are um, related to um, or are proportional to the uh, quantities 8 5 and 5 
so that actually solves our problem we realize that this is an um, we have the case of a triangle of dimensions 855 five, and all the triangles in the set S have these uh, dimensions and so the dimensions of the uh, of the triangles in S are proportional to this ratio so that solves our problem hope to see in our next video